The three principles for designing a cove are light dispersion, shadows, and line of sight. Light dispersion is determined by the distance between the light and the ceiling. Leaving more space allows the light to project farther, whereas having less space creates a more intense focused light. Line of sight refers to keeping the light source hidden from view. Take the whole space into consideration. For example, is there a long hallway, a mezzanine, staircase, or reflective surface nearby that will affect this? If the light source remains visible from certain angles, you have the option of using dotless LEDs rather than our standard intensity to create a more appealing finish. The lip should have a minimum height that allows it to hide the track itself and the source of light but can be longer based on your design. If the lip is creating an unwanted shadow, the fixture can also be moved to amend this. If the desired effect is to create a wash of light, you will be using our QR track. This fixture is attached to the wall for optimal light dispersion. Every room is unique, so you will need to find your own sweet spot. For a more focused light that creates a glow around the perimeter of the cove, you will be using our SF track. This fixture is installed in the base of the cove. Because your goal is to create a more focused glow with higher contrast, the cove can be smaller based on how you want it to look. These are two examples of popular ceiling coves, but the same three principles of light dispersion, line of sight, and shadows should be applied to inverse coves, wall washes, vertical coves, as well as any other hidden accent lighting. If this video didn't address a question related to your design, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always happy to discuss your projects with you.